Yeah, Hillary Clinton can't figure out how the women of America worked out that the uh, Hollywood access to tape was fake news. That's right, fellas. Tic Tacs come in on plastic box, not a metal one. Okay, that's how the women of America worked it out. Okay, uh, it's my way of watering this one. Fill up the centre and let it go. Anyway, they're in, fellas. Just gonna set this one up. Yes, you do. That was also there. That should start tripping at the bottom fairly soon, but not as yet. Okay, right, so I've got set these ones in. Put these one in the sand, I don't know, they'll be too, too good until the uh, the uh, organism starts growing and, and, the, and the sand and the sand greens. <coughs> And I put this one in across the diagonal too. And these ones I split on either side because I thought there was too much um, probably stuff underneath there, too close to the surface or thing. So well, I don't know if that small one's going to really going to spot Cullen on some of these. Don't know if that spot they're going to survive, but uh, we'll see. Because they were pretty uh, piss poor um, plants when I got them at the shops. You know they've been in the shops too long sort of thing. So I reckon that's going to redden hopefully and. Uh, We'll see, we'll see what happens anyway. Anyway, I put these ones in in 60-40, uh, um, uh, 60, 40, 60 sand, 40 of newspaper cellulose. So see, this one will be interesting to see whether this responds with the uh, newspaper cellulose. Because I'm getting the idea that the newspaper cellulose has to be under the surface to promote trichoderma to actually grow into it. It's got to be uh, anaerobic and wet enough for the uh, trichoderma to chomp into the, um, the uh, newspaper sales. That's how you get your greening. It's 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 probably the newspaper say or cellulose material being uh, chomped into by uh, trichoderma. But I think it has to be quite wetter than you think it is, and it has to be um, anaerobic sort of thing or semi-anaerobic. So it only really occurs when it's either flooded as we've shown in our flooded pots, or underneath, see. So it doesn't have to be flooded down there, but because you've cut the air out, or down to a certain extent, uh, <clears throat> in other words, allowed the organisms in the sand area to, to chomp through all the oxygen, and chew up all the oxygen by res respiration, leaving just the 78% nitrogen atmosphere down there for the and then the trichoderma can uh, get into the newspaper so you know, I, I believe so and then of course some of that greenness comes up to the surface of course that's my take home sort of mini hypothesis at the moment of how it sort of probably is going anyway these are still going quite uh, quite well as you can probably see in there uh, they're still you know for shop boards they're fantastic really compare don't know if we're going to get any action from this in the near future. You know, we're going to get, get more growth coming out. We've got to wait for the flower stalk. But this one, so far, with the um, the pine needles, not not pine needles, on the pine bark uh, chip, you know, the composted uh, orchid bark on the surface, best one yet so far. Nice dark green colour, but uh, not overly dark sort of thing. So whether. We can we, we want to actually get to the stage we're placing the newspaper sailors underneath somehow with pine bark, composted pine bark. But then again, you may not have to come you know, use that. You may just get the cheaper stuff, 
by putting it under the ground it composts itself sort of thing and you get so you do less work but you also get all the bonuses and benefits but it may take a certain amount of time so it may be like you have to set up your pot ahead of time ahead of the season you start doing it at the end of uh, the dry sort of thing which is hard to do because it's so bloody hot you see so anyway so um we'll see how we go well that's already gone through that's pretty good so um we must have missed all the dripping hopefully it didn't oh no it's still going down slowly hopefully um looks like i need to put some more in so uh yeah anyway i'll get that set up and i'll run something through like this but um yeah it's a good idea actually you, you can actually mount it and um keep it wet and and so that's what I'm testing out, one in the centre here, like that, and, and one over there sort of thing, so uh, we'll see how we go. Anyway, that's about it for um, the time being. Just take some close-ups, because, you know, people overseas probably want the, the occasional close-up. I don't know how that's going to do, but uh, we're going to certainly get plenty of sunlight. Um, I might just get, it might just get too hot. You know, as I said, we come to the third week of February and it's um, 46, maybe 47, 48 outside in the shade <laughs> uh, yes uh, I'm probably gonna have to be here you know middle of the day watering as well and that's clobbered up doing that uh, this one here oh we got oh, there's a new leaf coming up there if I can get around there uh, yeah can you see that down there I don't know if you can see that down there anyway this one almost looks like uh, these you see in the wild you know yeah that's all the look so this is sort of glossy, um, almost plastic glossy look to them. But anyway, we've got new leaf coming out there. So I've had my failures, fellas. Some of my failures. Yeah, still working on things. So it's not all success at the moment. And uh, we're getting, uh, getting an idea of uh, how things ought to be. And uh, as I said, this was a quite a surprise one, this one here. Uh, all this greening on, on a pot that's basically just sand and um, newspaper cellulose sort of thing. So, yeah. It's, um... So that's what I'm thinking, is the newspaper cellulose under there uh, is being attacked by probably trichoderm. That's why it's got this dark green look to it. So, uh, yeah be interesting we'll see so it's probably being attacked so basically you don't have to buy those trichoderma products all you have to do is put your newspaper cellulose or your cellulose material below the surface and whether you want to do something like you know sand on the bottom as a form of perch water table enabler and also for drainage then have your newspaper cellulose then have a sand zone for your plant roots to grow in i don't know but um anyway this thing is finally starting to grow this uh, cp weed it's actually finally starting to grow there. Well, I don't know if there's a delay on some of these things because they, they, they've um, either one, they're not using the old method of, um, uh, you know, um, uh, not, not, not sterilizing, you know, uh, not autoclaving, you know, what they used to do with the peat, uh, methyl bromide. They're not using methyl bromide. Maybe they're using something else and it's not as good. Uh, or you've got to wait for whatever it is to break down now. So, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know, so like methyl bromide was really bad, but it dissipated very quickly. Uh, whereas this thing is, uh, so, the, the new stuff that's not so bad as methyl bromide on the environment, it's more um, persistent and, uh, and more, more residual, I suppose. It takes longer to leave the, um, the peat, I don't know, if it's something like that. But um, anyway, this one, I don't know, but uh, whether we're going to get new plants coming up from that sort of, uh, I don't know, I, just, I don't know if you can see down in there, but all those leaves that are there have gone right, right back to the leaf bases and, um, you know, but the leaf bases are still white and alive at the bottom there. So whether we're going to get new plants coming off there, we're just going to have a whole mass of little tiny plants coming, I don't know. Does that imply they have, have actually been using some sort of hormone regimen or something to keep the plant? Oh yeah, because that's, that's the other thing. Look at the size of the plant here compared to the original pot that, you know, the pots that they come in. Uh, yeah, I mean, it just, that, to me, almost seems like it's too big for the original pot now. 
So whether every every cell in the plant has suddenly doubled or something, I don't know. So it still looks the same, but it's just yeah, you know, twice as big in a way. Anyway, this one here with the uh, the iron down there, that's um, yeah, I don't know. If we can just keep the the hot weather away for another couple of weeks, we'll be, <laughs> we might get something interesting out of it. This one, I don't know, fellas. Just a very small, very small plant with a flower stalk. Apparently in the wild, <clears throat> that doesn't happen. I think it's about one third only flower in the wild. Could be less, could be like 25%, but I'm gonna have to look up the paper, get it out here and read a few choice bits out of it. And this one is weird, look at that. Somewhat large leaf coming out with <laughs> a flower stalk, you know. Yeah, it's just weird, just weirdness coming out of these commercial places, fellas. Anyway, let's go back to normal focus. With 20 sec 28 seconds on the card, that's about it for um, this roundup. Um, as I said, they're in, and we'll, we'll just monitor them over the next uh, few weeks and see how they go. Might get a surprise out of that, that one over there. Don't know. I don't like the Melody Shark, though, thing. I don't like all those fancy forms. I like a, a, a classical one. I actually like one, one with longer teeth, sort of thing, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm.